Hello, I am preparing a class for painting a passion flower and these are a few images that I liked on the internet. This one for example right here, this uh, bud is very interesting and scrolling along here. This I don't really care for but I like the purple leaf, uh, the purple inside here is very nice, not the leaf. And this leaf over here was interesting, but nothing else. I never cop anything, copy anything directly from the internet. Cause that's uh, copyright infringement and cheating. And this bud here interested me uh, a little bit. And I think if it was opened up a little bit more, that would be nice. I pick this one here as a reference for the close-up of the uh, stamen. And the little purple hairs I thought were interesting. This is a beautiful painting, but the only thing, this is a painting, so um, these are lovely hummingbirds in here. But uh, what I liked about this was the vines. So I'm going to reference these a little bit, looking at the elegance of the, how nicely these vines are. Um, I love the way this artist did that. And I'm going to incorporate some of this with a lot of imagination of my own. Here I like this because it shows the light coming through the leaves of a flower. This also here I thought was interest, interesting because it has white. I thought that was pretty cool. This one, although it's very doctored up, I do not care for that. Um, they even have water on it, but just looking at this as a reference, I think is very nice. So this is what I'm going to be creating my board with. You can see this in this lighting here, but there's a leaf here I did, and I brought in the vines. This was just a quick 15 minute drawing that I allotted to uh, to stay within the time frame. So I uh, here I have the red passion flower and I have one little bud here and I have a bud here. So I'll take a picture of this and let you all see what this looks like. And I'm going to go ahead and start applying the acrylic. This is by the way a raw canvas. I did not gesso it Again, because I'm on a time strain here, I need to make sure this is going to dry quickly. If I gessoed it, it will have a longer drying time. So this is going to be on a raw canvas, nothing, just right out of the package. And uh, so it will soak up the acrylic very quickly. Okay, here is my painting. I'm not sure if it's showing up on the light. But just to let you see that uh, I started this on 8.45 last night, ended it at 9 o'clock. So it's a 15 minute quick rendering. Uh, I am away from the computer that I referenced the images from. And I'm just going to use my imagination. I'm going to fill in the background here with no reference. I'm just going to create something and we'll see how that goes. So this is what I'm going to be creating all the colors. There's just basic colors. I'm going to create a palette from that and um, I'm going to be timing myself. I'm going to mark the time. Here are the colors that I have. It's burnt umber. I thought I had black but burnt umber is fine. Uh, they're a raw umber, sorry about that raw umber. And then these, and just simple, my dinner plate. And I'm going to use one brush to do the entire background, which is a number eight. Grumbacher, I love the um, this being rounded. So while I'm doing this, it doesn't cause any hard edges. Let's see, I'm gonna be back in 15 minutes. Four minutes in, I uh, just wanted to let you know that I like to have light coming down on from up here and then there's also a light coming here and it allows me to look at 
the acrylic on how quickly it is drying and when I can apply another color onto it. This area was where I first started. It uh, definitely is drying um, a little bit quicker than I thought, so I feel very pressured, um, but I'm gonna continue. Again, this, I did not put gesso on it because this is a time frame. I'm, uh, I am watching very carefully the light as you should also have a light from above and another angle so you could really see uh, it drying. When it becomes matte, it's dry. This has been 20 minutes into it and uh, I'm applying the blue up here just trying to get the uneven effect that you get when you're looking into the woods. Um, actually this is a jungle uh, from the my imagination of a jungle with the in the Amazon. <clears throat> so going to continue here I'm going to stop and take a picture of this and then that you can see a sequence of how this is done and uh, so that's it. I also time for me to change the water. Getting into the stamen and because I'm using such a large brush I'm just gonna go over it knowing that I still need to add uh, that on top of the background. Total time one hour into this and uh, the background's basically done. I do have some of the little tiny vine outlets that I need to do uh, and I covered this up because it was so tiny and there was another one coming up here. This leaf I showed you before that I did mess up so I just I'm gonna put a leaf back in. And the stamen I'm also gonna add just create right on top of it. Other than that I like the way it's coming out. Because of the limited uh, palette colors that I have the leaves, which are a different color green, I'm not able to completely achieve, so I'm opting to improvise and create it blue, uh, a bluish color leaf. And if I did it as dark as it needed to be, it will be lost into the dark background. So it's all about improvising and not always uh, exactly what you see. You create what you have and using your noggin to make it your own. Working on this had to change the vine and make it yellow. That is not the real color, but because I'm limited with these colors, I had to improvise. The flower of the red passion flower does not have purple in the leaves, but because of the limited uh, amount of paints, I had to add that in to give it dimension. So this is where I am now, and we'll see what happens. Adding the white highlights is probably one of my favorite part of the uh, painting, just bringing the light in. This is the final of the painting and I used only number two and number eight brush. And these five colors, which is the umber, the ultramarine blue, the yellow, the light hue red, and the white. Hello, I wanted to show you all this outside so you saw it in the natural light. And using only five colors, um, I used every color available to create this. 
and I also I kept a time uh, on this and it was five hours and 30 minutes to complete this from start to finish so I also wanted to show you that you always want to go in composition of for example uh, odd numbers you have one three five so here I've got three and it just makes it more interesting and the breakaways from the different canvases so it's about to rain so I've got to get this inside and I'll be making another uh, video shortly.